Hi, this is Ted Bayhaus with Tech Rep Marketing. Today I have with me one of the new Touch Mix mixers from QSC. There's actually two mixes in this line. There's a 16 channel and there's an 8 channel version. So Touch Mix 16, Touch Mix 8. These are a brand new series of mixers. And one of the things that's really uh, pretty interesting about them is that they pack a whole lot of input and output and DSP power into a very, very small frame. Uh, the idea behind these is to be a very, very powerful standalone lightweight mixer that you can take to the gig and hook up to your powered speakers or whatever else you want to use with it and uh, be able to have a lot of power and not have to bring anything else with you. So uh, the mixer actually ships with this nifty case. You just take this to the gig, you open up the case, pull the mixer out, plug your microphones in and uh, everything that you need, effects, you know, all the, the different things that you need to hook up to speakers and everything is all sitting inside of the mixer in a very, very small frame. So I'm going to dig into some of the neat features in here, but let me just start with talking a little bit about the I.O. on the mixer. You have on the TM16, which I have right here, you have 16 full mic pre's. So each one of the low level trims right here for the mic pre's are right here on the top level, very easy to see, and they're clearly marked. You also have an additional two stereo inputs for a total of 20, uh, 20 inputs on the mixer. You have on the back, if you look here, you've got your main out right and left, but you also have six auxes with full XLR outputs on the, on the back of the mixer. Plus, you have an additional two stereo auxes right here on the front which gives you a grand total of, of 10 aux outputs on this. So a mixer that's in this kind of a small format like this, that's an awful lot of capability for either running your, uh, your, your floor wedges or using in your monitoring or what, what have you. So there is enough power in this little guy to, to do a very a medium size to a large scale band without having to bring any other gear other than the speakers and your subs. So uh, an awful lot of power in a, in a very, very small footprint. So how do we make all this work? Well, there's a couple things that are, that, are, that are design decisions that were made to make this mixer work so well in such a small footprint. One of which is to give you a touch screen interface. And that's what this has right on the front panel here. I have my touch screen interface here. And this makes it easy to navigate. Anybody who's used an iPad or a small tablet computer or iPhone or any of the, the latest mobile devices will be very, very familiar with the operating system on this. Uh, it works very much the same way. You touch to get to a page and then you just uh, touch the screen here and do whatever you want. If you need to make fine adjustments, one of the nice things about this is you can either use the touch screen here or I can click over here and then use the knob to uh, raise or lower or make any change in any parameter that's inside of the mixer. So by putting this touch screen interface here, I don't have to have all this extra space here for faders and a lot of the other things that would be there. The other thing is, is you're not wasting space with just a display because most mixers just have a display without the, the uh, touch capability. So being able to make the display and the touch part of it all in one place saves you a lot of space and gives you increased functionality. Um, and that saved space gives you more I.O., which we already looked at, but it also one of the other benefits to this mixer is it has a very, very large amount of DSP built into it. So you have four effects processors. Every one of your channels has got a full four band EQ with a, a high pass, um, high shelf and low shelving on it. On each of the outputs, you also have 28 bands of, uh, of graphic EQ on all six of your uh, auxes on the back, as well as your stereo auxes and your main out. So you have delay on there as well and some other filtering. You have feedback rejection that's built into it as well. So there's a lot of DSP uh, built into the mixer. So I'm going to go ahead and um, dig a little bit deeper and let you show you some of the interface things and just show you how easy this is to use and, and how, how clever it is. One of the first things that you'll notice about this mixer, there's an info button right here. And this info button is really, really unique. This is for somebody who knows nothing about the product. You can actually click the info button and you'll see the screen changes and it'll show you all the features of the mixer. It's basically an online manual for anything that you would do in the mixer. So if I want to figure out what a given function, how something works, I can click on any of these things. So say for instance, I want to find out um, basic mixer fix setups over here. I can click on the mixer setup button and it tells me about software and all these kinds of things that I can do to upgrade the mixer or whatever. 
I can click that button again and that always returns me back to the main info menu and this is like a big table of contents for anything that you want to do. Um, if you want to know something about an output channel like the EQ, there's a whole section of the manual right here that's right in the mixer. So instead of having to go pull a manual out and grab a, uh, an iPad or an iPhone or some other device to, uh, to read the manual on, everything that's, uh, that's in the mixer and as updates happen, this manual will get updated too when they make new feature changes and stuff to the mixer. So this is a very, very nice function. Um, this home button here, this is your main button for everything that you do on the mixer. If, you, um, if you're ever in a diff different spot or you're never in any other part of the mixer, very, very quickly, this always brings you back out. And this is kind of like your escape key on, a, uh, on your computer. So you just hit escape. If you hit escape enough times, you will be back up to the top level. So it's a very, very quick way to get to, uh, to the uh, top level of the mixer. And what you see here is a very familiar interface. You have your individual channel faders here. And these are inputs one through eight. And then you'll see these tabs that will show the different groups of uh, faders. So I have inputs one through eight. If I click on this, I've got nine through 16. My stereo ins, my effects masters, my aux outputs, all of these things are all right there. And if you look at the tabs, the actual levels that you make, when you make level changes to it, gives you a little overview of what the settings are for those individual faders. So as I'm working with stuff, I can kind of see if I have something that's cranked up too loud, I can you know, at least see kind of where I'm at from these individual tabs. So this is very, very handy for you to be able to go in and uh, get a very quick status overview of the, of the board. If I click on the number of any of these individual channels, you'll see here, then it comes up with all the individual channel controls. So I have my equalizer, my gate, my comp, my effects, my aux sends, and then my presets. So one of the nice things is, is if I don't really know what I want to do, let's say in channel one I have a kick drum, I can go to my presets and I can say, all right, I have drums and I can tell it's a kick. And I can even select whether we have a subwoofer or not a subwoofer in the system. So I'll say I have a kick with the sub, and I say I want it to be jazz. And these are kind of um, aesthetic kinds of names. So you can kind of get the sense of what, what, you're, what you're going after. And I select Recall Preset. And what's nice, once I've done that, all the settings for that particular drum, all those things are already set up for you. So you don't have to do anything. Everything is basically ready to go for you. In addition, if you're not used to working with EQs and some of the other things that you have in the mixer, you have what's called simple mode. And this is just a really, really quick way for you to change, make changes to the mixer without having to do a lot of things. It just gives you the information that you need to make kind of the broader scope changes. So you're not having to know everything about, you know, bandwidth and frequency and all that kind of stuff. You just got four individual gain controls here. It makes it very easy to, uh, to do your equalization. And this works with everything. Simple mode works not only with the, with the, um, with the EQ, but it also works with your, uh, with your compressor. So I can click on this and I have just one overall compression control on here. Works the same way with the gate. One control called gating. So it just makes it really, really easy for somebody who hasn't spent a lot of time learning all this stuff uh, to get up and running with the uh, get up and running with the mixer. So as I mentioned before, you can either grab things on here or grab it from the the wheel. One of the nice things about having this with the wheel and the fader here is that if I push the wheel down, I have fine pitch mode. So this basically just allows me to make very fine adjustments to the mixer without having to go to another, another place. Because uh, trying to do that with the, with the touch screen is a little bit difficult to do. The other thing that you have here next to the info button here is a wizard button. And this helps people who don't have a lot of audio experience to get up and running with the mixer very, very quickly. The first thing here is the game wizard. What this does, it shows you where to turn the levels, and as you're bringing audio in here, it tells you what each of those individual tick marks means. So right here it says minus three, minus six, minus nine, and minus 12. It tells you when it's too low or too hot. So if you turn that to the right level, you know that you got your level set the, uh, the right way. And this is a really, really fast way to get up and running with this. Um, in addition to that, you also have an effects wizard. And as I mentioned before, there's four effects engines built into here. And, um, this allows you to select which kind of effect you want to have in any one of those four effects engines. 
And then there's presets depending on the kind of source. So if I want to have my first effects engine, I want to set that up, then I'm going to use that for my vocals. I can go here and then I can set up, let's say I want to use that for my, my backing vocals, and I can select what I want. Do I want a plate? Do I want a concert hall? And then what this does, when I select that, it will load that preset to, uh, to that effects engine. So that's the wizard button. One of the other big benefits to the, the TM16 and the 8 is both, both of the mixers have a built-in capability to uh, record to an external hard drive. So if I attach a USB uh, 2 hard drive to the mixer, I can record, in the case of a Touch, six, touch Mix 16, I can record 16 channels directly to hard drive. And I can just select which channels I want to arm from this little record page. So I have this record play page. Uh, likewise, I can play back. I can either record, or if I tell it to play back on the track, then I, I'm telling it to play back the stuff that's coming off of the hard drive. So I have a very, very fast way that I can do recording that's completely separate from everything else in the mixer. So while I'm doing my mixes and concentrating on that, the mixer can be recording in the background. A very, very big benefit. Lastly, in addition to the touch capabilities that we have here, we also have the capability to run this with, a, uh, with an iPad. Uh, I don't have that showing yet today because uh, this is a brand new product and I haven't downloaded it from the Apple Store yet. It's not up, posted up there yet. There's a wireless capability in here that allows you to use uh, the touch mix with an iPad or an iPad mini. Uh, the iPad control gives you all the functions of the mixer. It's basically a rep repetition of the mixer th page that you have here actually on the touch screen. And what's nice about it is, is that you can have this going over here, plus on your iPad you can have a second screen, use it as a second screen to show additional functions, or what a lot of people will do, will have this on stage and just use the iPad to go out into, um, into front of house and be able to set up your mix. One of the other things that's really great about this mixer is just the amount of professional features that are here. Um, the Touch Mix 16 has uh, eight DCA groups that you can use with it. So what's nice about these DCA groups is I can go in, I can select, well, let's say I want to have my, my kick drum and a couple of my other items. I want them controlled by one fader. All I have to do is select my DCA group, select the channels that I want in that DCA group. I could also name that if I want to. If I want to go in here and give a name to that DCA group, I'm able to do that and call it whatever I want to call it. I could call it drums, whatever. And then from that point forward, I can control all those individual, the level of all those individual assigned channels by one fader. So what's nice about this is that if you have somebody in a, let's say, a house of worship environment where you've got, um, you know, 16 channels of stuff coming in the door, and you want to make it easy for a guest person to come in and do a mix, let's say you can't make it to your gig, you can set everything up on DCAs and just name it drums, you can call the next one keyboards or chorus, whatever you want, and be able to control all of those individual channels that are assigned to it via one fader. And again, this just makes life a lot easier. So that's the Touch Mix 16. These are going to be available in late August, and they will be available here at Northern Sound and Light. So call your favorite associate and, uh, and pick one up. They're great.